Good morning, YouTube modeling community. <clears throat> Mike here, Mike's Miniature Motors. Just want to do a uh, update on the Pro Street group build. Kind of let you know where things are at. Um, I guess let me start with the body over here. <clears throat> I painted about, a, I believe, about a week ago. That's uh, TS8 Italian Red. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Tamiya, obviously. Uh, you know, guys, I'm on the same page with Fred Henry. I've heard him talk about it recently, how uh, you can get a great paint job out of a rattle can. I agree 100%. Um, in many ways, I prefer a rattle can just out of convenience. Um, you know, I'll use an airbrush. I have no problem using my airbrush, but uh, I think you can achieve just as great of a paint job out of a spray can. But that's three coats of red. Uh, I didn't clear it uh, with TS-13. That's to me as clear. Um, cause I wasn't sure if I was going to put the decals down and I wanted, I knew I wanted to put the, uh, clear over the decals if I went that route. Um, uh, over the last week of just kind of staring at the body, it's like, eh, and looking at the box art, I'm not real fond of, of the body graphics. So, um, I'm probably just going to, uh, clear it and do like I did on my original build, except I will put the black around the windows, which I did not do on that build. All right, um, let's move it over a little bit. As you can see, the, the engine's done. Um, if any of y'all built pro stocks, just uh, motors, excuse me, um, just box stock, except, of course, it's got the, the gold chrome that, that came with the kit. Um, in hindsight, I wish I would have painted it red because, as y'all know, most of the cars that were built, you know, in the 80s were monochromatic. <clears throat> so since I did everything else red, kind of wish I would have done the motor red, but it's all in hindsight. It's all for fun. Uh, got the dash attached to the firewall, uh, the electronics box. Uh, I don't know if you can see, I did do the, nope, it's not going to focus. Anyway, painted the gauges. Uh, front side's just all silver, or uh, TS-30. And the frame, I've got this started. Um... Uh, Again, Silverleaf TS-30, uh, fuel cells in, both the batteries are in, and uh, there's the other side. It was pretty easy to mask since the chassis is uh, flat, it, was, it wasn't that difficult. Uh, steering arms in, or the rack and pinion part anyway. Um, uh, wash on the radiator, will not focus on that. It's not going to focus. You like this side better? Anyway, it's all good. Um, seats. I may come in and try to get this raised part. I don't know what it says on there. Uh, scrape that with a, a knife and uh, let the red shine through. Since I was doing the, you know, the kind of the black, red, and gold theme, I went ahead and put uh, carbon fiber decals on the... Uh, the back of the seats just kind of keeping with the the theme uh, roll cage is done oh no it's not i need to come paint that boy i'm kind of glad i caught that boy you were just not focusing today anyway uh other suspension parts uh, engine frame parts are all painted red i've got most of the kit painted <clears throat> just a matter of kind of uh gluing it all together um Exhaust manifolds are done, headers. Uh, they're two pieces, so the had to fill the seam and uh, put more white down. Anyway, I'm kind of babbling on, guys. Uh, that's about it for this video. I'm going to try to come back for a... Uh, man, you are not focusing for nothing. Uh, bench update as far as the Z and the motorcycle go. Uh, I'll do that one next, but... Uh, Thumbs up if you like the video, questions, comments, feel free to leave them. You know, I like to uh, try to respond to them as quickly as I can. Uh, always enjoy interacting with y'all. So, anyway, guys, that's about it. Y'all have a great day, and uh, I'll see you again soon. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.